Well, welcome, Mohammed. Nice to see you again, Thank Travis you. here. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by and having a little chat with me. Thank you. Um, you were telling me this is not your first Ishi, no, right? No, no. I, I almost attended almost every Ishi meeting. Almost every one? Yes. I, I, I was one of the few people who attended first Ishi meeting when it was in Madison. The very first one? Yes. Oh my gosh, that was like 30, Three years ago. Okay, what were you doing back then? I was a forensic scientist at the Illinois State Police Forensic Services. Okay. Yes. So were you in the lab, like, I'm purifying a, DNA and stuff? At that time, it was, uh, DNA was just starting. Yeah. But I'm in this field since 1976. 1976? Yes. What in the world were you doing back in 1976 with I DNA? Was, I, no, it was not DNA. At okay. that time, it was astrology. Okay, it astrology. It was astrology. Then, in the 80s, the DNA started. Yeah. And I'm the first few people who went to the FBI to learn RFLP, then wow. DQ Alpha, Polymarker. Muhammad, you've seen it all. Yes. You've been in it since its infancy. ABO blood grouping, then yeah. MN orange blood grouping, then polymorphic wow. enzyme, isoelectric focusing, and then GM markers, KM markers, then came DNA. Wow, and you even have the whole chronology memorized. Yes, I'm the uh, evolution. <laughs> evolution. That's amazing. So yes. what do you find? Is there anything that kind of just blows your mind now when you see what we're capable of and things yes, that are happening? We were doing ABO blood grouping. Now okay. what we see, now we can identify yeah. individuals. At that time, uh, I, I don't want to go back because, <laughs> you know, at that time what we did. That was that tough. Was the technology at that yeah. time. Yep. That was the best thing what we had at that time. Yep. We can't compare the, uh, the back time with the today's standards. Yeah. Yep. Today's standard is very, very high. Yeah. That's good. Yep. So where do you think this is all going to go in the future? I if you had a crystal ball like this and you could just look in there and see like what is going to happen in the future of DNA and I don't identification. Think the technology is moving so fast. Yeah. But uh, as far as DNA is concerned, we are at the molecular level. We, are, we can't go further, but right. there'll be new things like uh, 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 STR. Then after that STR, we have the, the single nucleotide. Yeah. And, the, and then the whole genome. Those are the things, but as far as the molecular, it can't go further because we yeah. are at the end now. At the end. The, the new technologies, new things will come up, up to find those. Right. So how about like genealogy? I mean, That's that was like thing. a big yeah, layer yeah. that was yes. added, right? That's right. That's right. But one must be very careful about that too. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, because uh, a lot of, you know, the human rights and all those things. Yeah. The organizations are coming up. Yeah. yeah. That's true, because you can find people that had never yes. even given a sample, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty powerful, yes. actually, when you think about it. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, all those people, these are new for me when yeah. I come to them. Very few old people I see, uh, like Bruce Bedoli. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, those people, I can see those are older guys. Yes. I just mark, um, I met Mark Nelson okay. when I was a visiting scientist at the FBI. He was a trainee at that time. Wow, yeah, so I guess that's another aspect of, of your situation is you've seen a lot of people that are probably attending these, yes. giving talks now at these, yes. and they might have just been working in a lab yes. as a, yes. a college student. Most of them are retired, actually. I don't yeah. see very many people because they don't even okay. come to the meeting. Yeah. And there, well, there was a time down. we know everybody, but now yeah. these are new guys. Yep. I can tell you these new guys don't know even what is, what is RFLP. I would, I would I venture to say I that they I probably mean, read a paragra paragraph yes, in some sort of book and that would be about it. Hands. Yeah, yep, yep. We were the first few people who learned at the FBI RFLP. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, about six weeks. That was probably back when mouth pipetting was popular. Did you ever mouth pipe yes. at? You did? Yes. <laughs> I always find that amazing, yes. especially since I worked with, you know, I peered up fired a lot of DNA over my years with uh, phenol and chloroform. Yes. So you're not probably going to be mouth pipetting any no, yeah, phenol chloroform. Not the now. chloroform, but yeah. I'm talking prior to that. Yeah. And yeah. we do in serology. Yeah. Okay. 
Wow. Yep, that's not impressive. Not anymore. No. No, now we have all sorts of machines like the CE, the you I know, use, I spectrums. I remember people back in the college, phenol, they, they put in the tube and put the thumb on that and shake it like that. Because they wanted to burn their thumb or? Uh, but they, they have no <laughs> they have, idea. Wow. And yeah, that's, and, and that's colleges, interesting. Colleges. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a, it's a different world now, that's isn't true. it? That's true. Yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for stopping by. Much and, uh, really appreciate uh, thank it. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's great talking to you again. Thank you.